chainsaw. The chainsaw is 3d6. No, no Limp Bizkit fans? I'll skin your ass raw. But it's not here. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yo, how old is this queen? Uh, like in her 40s? Yeah, sure. Yes. Oh, about the same age as Fang? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Is she sexy, though? Uh, you tell me if you think she's sexy or not. The answer is obviously going to be yes. All right, she's a queen. She's way out of Fang's league. Mm, not after I save the world. I'm just asking for our bartering skills later. I'm, I'll show some leg. I know it's like. Yeah. So you guys are all, uh, you guys are all standing in the armory. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are inside the great oak. <clears throat> Fang is holding a chainsaw. He's gonna cut it down from the inside. He's he'll skin your ass raw. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shout out to Limp Bizkit. So much fans. funnier when Max said it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's true. Um, Raph the Otter is there. She's like the the leader of the town guard or whatever you want to call it. She's there with Aldous the Mole, who is the one who said he would he could guide you to the mines. Yeah. The mines are located next to a waterfall. I remember that. Called yeah. Cauldron Falls. I don't know if we talked about this in the episode <laughs> or not, but... Um, I remember you just saying something about a waterfall. Me too. They, they let you know, <laughs> they let you know that the mine is uh, located next to a waterfall called Cauldron Falls. Aldous the Mole tells you guys that there's two ways you could get into it you could either go through the mines which is what he wants to do because he's a mole (laughs) surprise or you could go around the front which is like a walkway that basically leads off the side of a mountain and you have to walk through the waterfall to get into the front this is the choice he was talking about let's go mole style Mole, mole style yeah I don't know. Seems like if... What's his name? Aldous? Yeah. He's gung-ho. Why not? Okay. What do you think? Do you you always have any strong feelings? No. So Raft Raft has the rest of her animals there. Uh, Not people, because I keep saying people, and they're not people, they're animals. We're all animals. So I wrote a note to myself with the word people with a cross through it, so I don't say it anymore. Uh, But she has all her... She has her troops there for you, people she thinks you guys should take. How many we got? The animals. The animals. Damn, you did it. <laughs> Already, the, right after a set talking about your yeah. note. The animals that uh, she thinks you should take, that she can spare, because she, she's not going to leave the great oak completely unattended. Yeah, you can't. Uh, but you have, you have uh, well, first of all, you have Aldous the mole. There's a quail, a box turtle, a robin. A quail, a box turtle, and a robin? And whoever, whoever else you guys want to take. Uh, is there, like, um... Like somebody who can fight? Hmm? Maybe? I mean, these like are their, stronger? These are their toughest guys. <laughs> a robin is the toughest? <laughs> Maybe it's like a buff robin. Or a quail? Those are the smallest birds. So morale is r- really low in the castle. Everyone looks really beat, sleep deprived. I guess all their eagles and hawks got picked <laughs> off already. <laughs> We're yes. down to quails and... Canaries. Quills and robins. Uh, the <laughs> goldfinch. The true, the true town guard got picked off. No hummingbirds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we need a hummingbird. There are some other animals here, some tougher animals, but their raft is leaving them here to to make sure that they All secure right. the. We have a chainsaw and a machete, oak. and but you you said we could take other animals if we want. You had decided you were taking MSG. Yeah. Spencer. 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 And you weren't sure if you what were you doing with Solba? We should Solba. Subla. 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 You weren't sure. Yeah, we have to keep her behind. If we're taking MSG, we can't have two. Oh wait, but remember we said we were going to take her as our secret weapon. Well, I thought we could leave MSG. Yeah, we should. Did we say we were going to bring MSG? You did. Okay. You specifically did. So you're bringing them. Uh, Okay. All right. Can't take it back. Spencer's coming along. But we, we didn't decide about Subla. So what's Subla doing? You remember her eyes scared away the bad the bad boys. Yeah, they did, right? That was yeah, they scared him away. Yeah, and remember these people said that nobody ever got away from them. Yeah. Ever. So let's bring her. She's our secret weapon. Her good luck charm. Can she walk? Like is she She's an old woman. So she can walk. So does that she's, mean no? She's an old person. Do they have like some sort of uh like rickshaw type thing we can throw her <laughs> in MSG in? Or no, she can walk, but A throw wagon. her in and 
What about like a jazzy scooter, like a little motorized wheelchair? Oh yeah, yeah. Nothing that's electric. They don't. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We'll go a gas-powered one. There's cannon for that. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. No, I don't think. Are you a go kart? <laughs> Let's leave her behind, guys. It ain't gonna work. You're right, though. If she's the only thing that stopped them before. Oh they no. They ain't seen a chainsaw. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I say we leave MSG then. No, Max already has it's, given us word that we have a. Uh, we can't change our mind. Yeah, can, I it's, piggy, it's can, fine. I, can I piggyback her? You could, but that would hinder you if something comes I'm up. I'm already slow as fuck anyway. Who cares? <laughs> but you have the chainsaw. Oh, yeah, true. All right. Never all mind. Right. We'll leave so, her behind. Yeah, all right. Leave her behind. Right. Yeah. That's Honestly, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, I cut her head off with the chainsaw. <laughs> And make it so her eyes are constantly glowing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. You guys leave the armory, and you are walking through the Great Oak to exit. But on your way out... The queen calls me over. No, the queen does not call <laughs> you over. Uh, MSG is... You hear MSG muttering to himself. Formerly known as MSG. You hear Spencer muttering to himself. <laughs> They're all natural. You're Come not getting any good, good ingredients off of there. Corn syrup, sugar, gelatin, modified food starch, citric acid. And as you walk by a door, you hear him stop. He, like, cuts off abruptly. Oh, okay. Can I ask someone who's here? Uh, who's the guy leading us, the mole? Aldous. Hey, hey, Aldous, what's, what's this door? Because we're still in there. Is the Great Oak, right? Oh, th- this, is, this is the library. Yeah. Do you want to make a pit stop in the library? Yeah. Sure. All right, let's pop in there real quick. Do you mind if we pop in here, Aldous? No, no, it's no problem. All right, go in. So you open the door, and it looks like what you expect it to look like is a gigantic library with multiple levels of books and the ladders that roll along the sides of it, and it's all very ornate, carved out of wood, just like the rest of the Great Oak. Okay. Um, what does MSG do when we get in? Yeah. He is still completely silent, and he's just kind of walking slowly in, and, like... Can we hear anybody in there? Nope. Are we, is he walking, like, does he look like he's walking with intent to go to the specific place, or just wandering around? Uh, it looks like he's just kind of awestruck wandering around. Uh, okay. He's, like, looking around in all directions. All right. It, we give him ten minutes what happens. Just uh, keeps doing that. Yeah, I think he eventually settles in and, and just picks a book off the shelf and starts reading it. Okay. Maybe just that'll sitting. give him more words. Yeah, we'll give him, we'll give him something to do while we go on our journey. <laughs> just leave him here? Pat, pat his head. <laughs> okay. Read some books, buddy. Learn some words, you dumb. I mean, <laughs> you little bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you want to just leave him in the library? Aren't we going to leave him behind anyway? No, we were going to no, bring him. No, we had him. to bring him. Oh, never mind then. Oops, I forgot. But he's reading? <clears throat> yeah, he's reading. <clears throat> How's that book? MSG, Spencer? Uh, he doesn't really reply to you. What's, he's just kind of fixated on the what, book. Can I see what book he's reading? Yeah. The Bears in the Black Forest. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like a, it's for little kids. Okay. You want to bring that book with us? Uh, he's just kind of ignoring you. Does he have a library card? Is he sitting down? Yeah, he's sitting down. Uh, she's like, come on, it's time to go. He's just reading. I grab him by his... Arm he starts freaking out. Uh, <laughs> he start. He goes back to yelling uh, ingredients very loudly. He's causing a scene in this <laughs> very any, quiet library. But no one else is there. You said right, or you couldn't hear anyone. Uh, you did not see anyone else now. Oh, okay. Does anyone come over once he starts yelling? No, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think there's not. Calm him down, man. He's freaking out. I give him like a candy bar from my backpack. Uh, he, yeah, he eats it. It's a Milky Way. Yeah. <laughs> I figured it was a Milky Way. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's a Milky Way, baby. Uh, yeah, so he, he takes him, he does calm down. Okay. He's still muttering to himself, but not screaming yeah. at the top of his lungs. Uh, I'm just going to tell him, hey, you can read that while we continue on our journey. Uh, he just goes, he sits back down and he's eating, eating <laughs> while, uh. Kind of <laughs> leave him. We can leave him, but I wish someone should know he's here. I feel like he'll just, like, starve to death or something. <laughs> leave him. Leave him. Hey, what about that okay. person that uh, was his buddy from before? Or knew who he was. Yeah. Knew his name was Spencer. Sylvia the mouse. she with us on this journey or no? Uh, she's not, but you could ask for her. Yeah, let's do that. 
Is there someone in our party? What about who's fast? Uh, the Bird. quail? Can we ask the quail yeah. to go? Uh, the robin can fly. Hey, can you grab <laughs> Cynthia or whatever? Yeah, sure. And they go. They go do it. Sylvia. 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 Yeah, they go grab her, and and uh, Sylvia comes through the library doors. Hey, Sylvia, we got kind of a problem here with uh, Spencer. He doesn't want to stop reading. Do you mind hanging out with him while we go on this trip? Yeah, sure. That's no problem. Okay, thank you. Uh, if he does anything weird, that's usual. Par for the course. <laughs> Make sure you feed and water him. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I pat him on the head and... Say, uh, take care of yourself, buddy. Okay, yeah, and he just kind of ignores you. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, what a little ingrate. Little what? Shit. All, after all we did for him, he's going to ignore us over a child's book? <laughs> Maybe he'll be able to talk by the time we get back. He better learn. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something worse. <laughs> no, nah, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to be PG-13. So you guys exit the castle, fine. It's uh, probably afternoon here. Is it in slow motion when we walk out? Yeah. Like dust coming out of the ground or something? Yeah, your chainsaw is like slow-mo of you revving the chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, it's glistening a little bit. Mm. You're like spinning around holding it. <laughs> You're just like cutting shit down in the oak tree, like chairs and shit that don't need to be cut. Did I cut my arm off to put it on there? You yelled that you did, but I don't think you actually did. <laughs> okay, cool. Good. I, I need that. I need that for later. Um, yeah, maybe your arm will get cut off. Sweet. So you guys are heading towards the north where the um, mines are. To the falls. To the waterfalls and Sweet. the mine. Alright, so before we start on our walking, mm -hmm. I go over to a tree and I take the chainsaw and I cut off a real sweet walking stick. Okay. I'm just making a little visual there. I, I want to have like a sweet walking stick. Okay. <laughs> That's all. Okay. <laughs> Is anyone else doing anything? No. I don't think I need anything else. No. Are we we're outside then? Yeah. No. Are there any like w wild food that's edible? Like You're any just... berries or anything? Sure. There's all sorts of stuff. Yeah. I'm going to take some berries that are edible. Okay. Throw uh... them in my bag for later. I have a little Tupperware, space Tupperware <laughs> container. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Full of space berries. Do you have, do you have like a bottle of water with a dog bowl on it for yourself? <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the bottle, but the top, yeah, the top is like a little bowl. <laughs> so when I squeeze it, it goes into the bowl part and then I can just lick it out. You That's get nice. down on all fours and lick it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I lick it out while standing. So Aldous leads you to around uh, what he says will take you into the mine you did not want to go around. We're going into the the mole hole. Okay. All right. Then that's where you're headed. Um, so you get to this, like, it's heavily wooded. It's, you know, back against the mountain somewhere. You guys have walked maybe, like, an hour to get here. That's not bad. Yeah. We're not okay. too tired. And you get to this, like, spot in the wall or, you know, spot in the side of the mountain where... Uh, at first you didn't see it, but now you're noticing that, yes, this probably was a passage at one time, but it's all covered with dirt. Mm. Uh, Aldous goes to town with Sweet. his big claws and starts digging you guys a hole. So okay. while, while he's doing that, can I, I want to do like a, like a spot check to make sure that this hole looks like there hasn't been activity, that those big claw monsters have been crawling in and out of this thing. Okay, yeah, sure. You guys can all do that. All right. I got a... Wow, I only got a nine. What am I adding on to? Spot. So no. it's towards the bottom. Yeah, you crushed it. Six. You got twenty-five total. Twenty-five. Yeah, no. nineteen plus yeah, your I six. Got a 16, Damn, it's so pretty good. Um, all right, so this this spot looks fine. It doesn't. Nothing seems disturbed here. Are there many holes or one hole? It's like one, basically, one just like mound of dirt on the side of the mountain that okay. he starts digging through. Uh, but cool. while, but while with your 25, while you guys were on your way up through the mountain, you notice like footprints and some like shreds of clothing. It's a good like, sign. A shred Do the of footprints look clothing. fresh? Uh, yeah. Okay. Are they going towards the hole or away from the hole? Uh, they were not going the same direction that you guys went. Oh. They were branching off a different way. That could be good then. Okay. Or they could have gotten beat up. Yeah. Running away. Well, it's up to you if you want to ask anyone else. Any of the natives. They you know told us to, they told us either path, so they don't know anything. I say we go for it. Okay. Okay. I just mean if they like recognize the clothes or anything. Oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. Go ahead. 
<laughs> well, I didn't notice this. Iggy noticed it. Oh, yeah. Do I recognize any of the clothes, or can I smell them? Yeah, or raccoon smells. Can, um, can he smell them? <laughs> Who, who's he? Me. Henry. Uh, you? Henry, because he's a dog. Well, he has a better sense of smell, well, maybe. Well, role, role, role play it out. What do you do? Oh. Yeah, um, you notice this, and Fang and I don't notice this at all, because we're I'm a dumb So Okay, so I'm hanging <laughs> back a little bit, and I'm going to say, hey, Henry, come here, look at this. You oh, what, what is this? There's some footprints, some shreds of clothes. Can you smell them and see if they, you smell anything familiar? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> smells like, uh, smells like, uh. It smells like the guys that you've fought last night. Ooh. Like the guys we fought last night. <laughs> <laughs> but the quail interrupts and is like, oh, uh, lets you know that, that this looks like is from like Pohan clothing. Oh. Well, what do you guys think? Should we uh, continue on our path? I guess I'll ask the mole. Is the, right? The mole is leading us? Yeah. I'm like, hey, Dumbledore. Uh, <laughs> well, what, uh, what do you think? We, we found this, these clothes and, you know, I, I don't know if it's one of your people or hurt or if we should try to just steer clear of this. What do you think? Uh, I mean, I think if we, if we keep following this path, that'll take us to the, the waterfall. Yeah, but also the where we're going on the through the tunnels going to the waterfall too, right? Yeah, once we go through the mines. Yeah, I guess I'm asking: Are you concerned that one of your fellow Pohanians is hurt or injured, or do you not care? I mean, but we're the ones that fought them, right? Yeah, but I think what we found was like a Pohan person that had been attacked by the same people, right? So here, here's here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna think out loud. These guys like the darkness. Because they only come out at night. Okay. Mines are also dark. Right. So maybe they're in there. I'm thinking maybe they're in there. Where where did these where did these prints come from? The path. If, if they're there. They're leaving the path. They're leaving. They're leaving that. So they're area going the opposite direction of where we're of going. The hole. They're also going to the waterfall. So I guess nothing changes. We'll just keep. We'll meet up with them at the waterfall. Yeah, let's go. Wait, I thought they were going opposite of us. Basically, there's a a, a right and a left path. One way leads to oh. the waterfall. Okay. The front of the waterfall, one leads to the where all those things you guys can get into the mines through the back. And those footprints are going towards the, the path towards the waterfall. Yes. Oh, well, yeah, we're going the opposite direction. Yeah. For sure. We're going towards the mines. Mines, mines, mines. I'm okay. with you. Let's mine it up. All right. So, yeah, we're back where we were. Uh, all this. I just had to check. All this rips through this dirt, and uh, he digs enough for you guys to squeeze through. Mm. Okay. What? <laughs> Why do you look at me like that? Okay. <laughs> it's it's like kind of a small path. Yeah, I mean, he could dig the whole way through, but that would take him. All right. You know, he's spending like 15 minutes digging this hole. I'm going Lord of the Flies here. You're gonna start eating <laughs> us? <laughs> no, I'm going. My for, God, I'm, man. I'm going primitive. Since I don't have my laser, whatever. What did I have? Like I had like trip wires or something, right? Yeah. So since I don't have that, I'm fashioning a sweet like little rope thing out of out of like branches or something sure and then i'm putting something jangly on the end of it right towards the entrance yeah you're gonna put like some some rocks in one of his space tupperwares that are made out of metal yeah there you go and and i'm i'm telling every i'm telling our team about it so if if somebody tries to come in after us we'll hear their art we'll hear the rocks jingle to try to warn us Okay. I'm just weird. That's like a bottleneck. I don't like mm-hmm. that. Okay. So you do all that. Yeah, while he was digging more, you know, I was kind of just getting a little crafty. Fang's called like the Martha Stewart of space, by the way. That's yeah. his nickname. <laughs> I have a glue gun. He just loves I'm to a, get crafty. I'm a side pocket and some felt. <laughs> some, <laughs> <laughs> some felt and a glue gun. Um, a space glue gun. What is space glue? That sounds like a toy that we would have had in the 90s. Or a weird <laughs> sexual innuendo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm about to hit that queen with my space glue. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you said you're trying to keep it PG. Yeah. PG-13. Go 13. Oh. 13 Yo, still is, good. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm still good. Okay. Um, Innuendos all day. So you are now in these mines. Yeah. Uh, Aldous, it's dark in here. Uh, I don't think any of you guys can... Or Iggy, you can... can I can see. Yo, I got, can, I got that, that electromagnetic field sensing. Yeah, we never, we never bring that into play, but that's true. <laughs> Yeah. So I don't know if it helps me see or not, but you know they have those platypi have those little beady eyes, so they gotta make do with that. Platypus. Yeah. I, I think thought that pie. was for swimming in water. No, platypuses can sense can sense 
creatures. Kind of like moles do the same thing. Moles are blind. I'm close. Oh. I, I don't know how I don't know how it Let's works. Let's get some animal facts. <laughs> animal facts with Max. He's unprepared. Uh, there aren't any facts. Platypuses, which I don't think is the plural. Platypi. Platypi have some kind of sense sense where they can like detect EMF electromagnetic field waves like coming out of creatures. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. you guys but, you guys see some torches. That's never come up in play, but it should somehow. Well, yeah. Well, listen, I'm on high alert. I, I made that stupid, like, just married tin can <laughs> <laughs> device on the front of the cave here. So if there's any electromagnetic guys up ahead, I'd like to know about it. Okay. Dungeon master, universe <laughs> master. All right, how are you guys going to see, though? Well, I can already see in the dark. Yeah, you see in the dark. I just feeling my way through, I guess. Yeah, the mole can see in the dark. The... He's got a strong nose. The other animals that you're with uh, cannot, so. Okay. Torch. Do we have torches or anything? Do we think that far ahead? Probably not, unless did Aldous or anyone else. I mean, Aldous didn't because he's a mole, but what do you guys want? Like a, a flaming torch or if you want to say you brought like glow sticks. Yeah, so anything like that would be good. <laughs> <laughs> glow but sticks would be good. I think, well, I feel like you guys have like adventuring gear. That's yeah. true. I yeah. feel like, like something, because you... I don't think a torch is a good idea because if we're like crawling through. No, but you're right. We do probably have like those like you crack oh, them, you go. Actually, and then it glows. in the Pembroke, there's there's like lanterns. Yeah. Do you want to say you grab those? Yeah, I'll say we have like two lanterns for the three of us. Yeah, that's fine. Someone kind of close to the front has one, and someone kind of close to the back has yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. So and I have a glow stick too. Okay. It's on what a color? <laughs> it's yellow, and it's on a string. <laughs> like when I made the string for the entrance. I grabbed another string, and now and then I twist it around, and I say that I learned it at the intergalactic rave. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I went to go see fish. Fish at don't a play rave? at raves. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was looking. He was Fang has a fish fetish. He was checking out the ladies. The lady oh, fish. oh, there were a fish at the rave. <laughs> well, the fish fish in this world is actually EDM. Oh, interesting. Yeah, you is guys it? are wrong. Is it still spelled stupid? No, it's just spelled with an F. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> but it has a PH at the end. <laughs> it's like a lisp. Uh, anyway, yeah, I have a glow stick. Okay, cool. All right, so you're in these, these tunnels. Um, you start walking in one direction, and it's just kind of like a maze of tunnels leading in different directions. All this has been here before, but he doesn't know it well enough to navigate to the front but he thinks he has a good idea what basic direction to go. All right. Um, how about you guys roll me a D100? A D100? I don't, I don't have 100. you yes, got to you use do. your percentile oh, die. Uh, only one of you has to roll. All right. I can roll it. Do it. I've got it out. I rolled a 95. Hopefully wow. high is good. <laughs> you have a 95% chance of dying. <laughs> In the distance, you see... 95 of those enemies. <laughs> <laughs> you see uh, a portion of the cave that's lit up. From where you're at, you can see that there's two of those guys. Oh, I knew it. They're sitting at a table uh, playing cards. And okay. there's... Is it like... Are they like, like in that equi- Zelda game? Equipment around them. They're like roasting meat? <laughs> <laughs> we were playing Breath of the Wild. Oh, sweet. <laughs> no, they're not roasting meat. They're just... Uh, they're oh. just playing cards. Okay. It's two of these guys, and uh, you're far enough away that they haven't noticed you, and I think... You gotta go for the sneak attack. Yeah, I go, yeah. I, I like turn around. I assume I'm kind of close to the front, yeah. You do that, Fang does that thing. I put my I put my, my fist up for like the hold, the hold thing, and I give my, I put my two fingers up to my eyes, and I motion towards yep. other guys, and I do the... Two of you go, th- or, you know, a few of you go this way, a few of you go the other way, and we're going to try to sneak up on them. Yeah, maybe let's just bring, like, should just the three of us go up and leave the rest of them back there? Sure. I don't want to be too loud coming up, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, our sneakiest warriors. All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I go up with my chainsaw revving. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um, well, Iggy and I have bows. Maybe anyone with a bow. Yeah, the, the quail. Oh, the yeah. quail has a bow. Anyone else? Uh, so the have quails a long are range. probably pretty dainty. Yeah. Small ass birds, as <laughs> Becky said. 
No, the Robin the Robin has a staff. So Dequail's the only other one with a long range weapon? Aldous Aldous has his has his claws. Okay. So I like, don't want the claws. What, who's the what's the quail's name? Uh Tombo. Alright, Iggy and Tombo, come here. Okay. The three of us will sneak up. We'll all unleash our arrows at the same time, and then everyone else will be right behind us, and we'll as soon as the arrows are released, we'll rush up and get Or hold on. Now I'm rethinking this. Should we try to sneak up behind them and just clobber over the head to knock them unconscious? <laughs> you want to keep them alive? Well, to like, just so they don't make any noise. If we hit them with arrows, they'll be like screaming. What if we kill them on impact? You think we can do that? Game master. Headshots. Can we kill them on impact with a headshot? Anything's possible. <laughs> if you roll the right dice. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should just not knock them unconscious. What's your, what's your, um, damage? Yeah, what well, I was going to say. Your, your bows versus yours. My great sword is more damage. Great sword is 2d6. It's 1d10 for the crossbow. Yeah, my longbow is 1d8. Yeah, and, and same thing with the uh, quail. Yeah. So what do you think? We can go up behind them and just knock them. Um, cool with either. We're, we're, we're ready to rush up, and we can get them. Okay. Longbow. All right, long we're going to longbow. Bow. Continue with the original plan. Yeah. Okay. Um, I like sticking to our guns. So we're going to try to sneak up, like, kind of to the edge of the room with the three of us in a row. Okay. And I'll be like, all right. Iggy and Tombo, take the guy on the left. I'll take the guy on the right. Because mine's, mine's like a little more damage. Okay. I want you guys to make stealth rolls. Was stealth a thing? There's a different name for oh, it. Oh, yeah. There. Move silently. Just call it stealth. Come yeah, on. That, that's oh, ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I got 12. I got 22. Wow. Um, I'll, I'm going to roll for the quail. And now I'm rolling for the guys. All right. They did not uh, detect you. <laughs> wow. Yes. All right. These guys still suck. <laughs> they have really low wisdoms. Anyway, you guys did it. Okay, so Sweet. now we have to... So now they're unconscious? No, no. We no. just snuck up <laughs> on them. Right now we have to try to shoot them? Yes. All right. So now yeah, like okay. rock. roll attacks. All right. So all ready and we'll do like a one, two, three, and then I'll do it with my hands. And then we'll fire at the same time. Okay. Okay. So we got to roll attacks. I've got my yes. paw on the uh, on the starter of, of the chainsaw, and I'm sweating. Jeez, Louise. Ooh. I got 15 total. Same. It, and I'm ro- I'm aiming for the head, by the way. I'm aiming know, for the heart. That... <laughs> All right. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that helps if you say you're aiming for. Heart. Okay. All right. Um, you guys both hit. Yes. Which ones were you shooting? I was shooting the one on the right. Iggy and uh, Tombo. Is that the first thing? Yeah, we're, we're shooting. They were left. both going to go for the left guy. Okay, so, all right. Roll for Tombo. Uh, Tombo did better than you guys. <laughs> Are these guys just as big and scary as the other ones? Yep. Oh, great. For one. I That's why hit. I aimed for the heart. They hit real <laughs> hard. So guy number one, which was the right guy, uh, roll your damage. Sweet, we hit this guy. I rolled five. Okay. What'd you roll? Five. We just rolled the exact same thing twice around. That's weird. <laughs> Twinsies. Twinsies. <laughs> what about the other one? The, the, the quail. All three of you hit. The quail rolled better than you guys. Okay. I, I, I feel like I can't just say the amount of damage. Well, you could tell us okay. what it looks like. Why can't you tell us? Yeah, they're part he's of our, on our team. He's on our team. I don't know. I just feel like I can't well, tell you the exact amount. Just describe us okay. the scenario. So, <laughs> so we all sneak so, up. Yeah, so here's what happens. Where you was guys, the quail aiming for? Uh, his brain. Okay, also the head. <laughs> no, specifically <laughs> no. the brain. Brain, <laughs> brain right. His, brain. his neck. Uh, the guy on the right uh, took an arrow, does not seem happy about it. The guy on the left took two arrows and fell over. Okay, I like that. I guess... They're confused. <laughs> then can I reload and shoot again? I get. I guess it's time to roll initiative. Okay, that's what I was going to yeah, say, I'm but you to, just said they the were confused. The guy fell over. I'm about to run out with a chainsaw. Yeah, yeah. what does that mean? He just fell over. I'm going to run up and see if he's dead, but he, I have to roll initiative first. He's still, he's, you can see him trying to stand up. Jeez Louise, I rolled a three, so six is my initiative. So I got six total. Twelve. Sixteen. We're going to have like a horde of like six people running out, right? How many... Oh, of us are there total? Yeah, six. No, seven. There's four. Oh, of them. yeah, including right. that mole. The quail, seven. the box turtle, the robin, Aldous, and us three. Yes. Yeah. Seven. There's seven of us running out. Uh, 
I remember, I think these guys are slow, unless Max rewrote that. <laughs> this always takes forever. Uh, Rule boy's over there following all his rules. <laughs> Rule boy! It's also just a bad idea to have me playing this many people. Doing all this secret math. Secret math. All right. Um, By my calculations, it looks like you're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> I made them better this time because I was mad they weren't hitting me before. <laughs> Your buddies went real slow. Well, so did I. You went worse. <laughs> they they went worse. They were lower than six. Jeez, Louise. Um, Yo, how was Fang the best? Get out of here. He has a negative two initiative. But you were just on <laughs> so much high alert. Oh yeah. The three of us were a little slower because we were just reloading our bows. I didn't want to tell you guys, but I, I sensed their electromagnetic field before we even got in here. I was just looking for a fight with my chainsaw. <laughs> guys, it, we have the AC and the fan running, and it's still fucking crazy hot. It here. is crazy hot. Yeah. So. Yeah, let's get this show on the road. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, chainsaw. Rule Boy would just hurry up. <laughs> All right. Rule Boy. He's just trying to figure out if batteries work. <laughs> no. God. <laughs> Good call back. Uh, so the jackal that fell over. Oops. <laughs> oh, you were right. Oh, they're jackals, baby. <laughs> oh, we're on some ancient Egypt shit here. That's fine. You sensed it. Yeah. Next you thing guys... you know, there's going to be another centaur or whatever. All right, yeah. you guys are seeing them in the light. They didn't have their robes up. You could tell he was a jackal. That's not yeah. okay. Damn jackals. Yeah, this is more buff than any jackal you've ever fucking seen, though. Whoa. Even the ones from before? That was aggressive. No, no. I'm just saying, in the rest of your experience, besides... I've seen some buff jackals in my day. <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> oh, you guys haven't seen the uh, buff jackal firefighter calendar? <laughs> There's some pretty buff jackals in there. Dude, I got a buddy. He's freaking ripped. He's on the all-muscle milk diet. <laughs> the jackal who uh, got hit and fell over spends this turn riding himself. It is Fang's turn. Okay. That dude, is he, is he upright? Yeah, he's standing up. Are like, the does... arrows still in him? Does yes, he, look, he has two arrows. So he's standing. With two arrows? With two arrows. Like, but is he standing as straight as the other one? Uh, or is he looking a little hunched over, a little, little unbalanced? Where are the he arrows two, also? He has two arrows going through his shoulder. I'm running up to what? his ass. Okay. Uh, while I'm running up, I'm pulling up. Okay. Did it start? Yeah, it starts. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Just make sure they didn't give me a dud, you know. All right. And I go to attack <laughs> the the guy. Okay. The one that's hurt? Yeah, the hurt one. So I run to him and I and I go to uh, slash him with the chainsaw. Okay. Roll an attack. Doing it. Is that, what is that is technically? That, melee or whatever? Yeah. And don't forget, you guys have action points. Yes. You are leveling up. Nice. Soon. Oh. Okay. Probably. So, hey, Maybe if you, the action if you don't die. Nice. I rolled I rolled a 14, and I think I'm not going to roll an action point. I want to see if a 14 hits. These are big dudes. You know a 15 hit. Before? From yeah, before? Yeah, we hit on a 15. So there's a good chance 14 might also hit. Yeah, it seems kind of high to roll an action point, so I'm not going to roll an action point. You whiff with your chainsaw. Uh, well, we know exactly what we need to oh. roll. I think, well, yep. to be fair... You guys might have known that from before. Probably. But that's oh. fine. You miss. Yeah, but I'm standing right next to him. Okay. I didn't move away. I'm taking the hit. Uh, it is the quail's turn. She's going to shoot another bow at, I guess, that same one. Another arrow. How do we know you're rolling fair? What? <laughs> I'm not, you're not what trusted. Is that? What does that mean? That's right. Well, you're behind the... You're behind your trifold... Shield. Your, your trifold... Uh, batteries work poster <laughs> <laughs> the quail did not hit tombo did not hit turns Just out batteries suspected. don't work yeah it is now the other jackal's turn i think uh the other jackal is that right jackal this is right jackal okay okay one arrow jackal yeah. yes the one that has one arrow stuck inside him the biggest threat is the guy with the chainsaw so he's going for fang okay he's gonna attack fang with his claws oh, dang. he hit for sure Damn, did he crit me? No. Okay, good. But he rolled a 16 yeah, once my, his attack. So. My AC is 14. Yeah. All right. Uh, he attacks you with his claws and does seven points of damage with your minus three. Oh, wait. Yeah, I, got, I still got that minus three. So Yeah, so he, he does 10 points of damage. Cool. So seven. Got it. 
Um, next up is Iggy. Uh, do I have to decide if I'm using an action point before I roll? No, mm-hmm. you roll after, but before I say if you did good job or not. So you roll, see if you did awful, and then you okay. use an action point. But remember, your action point... Um, it is a 1d6, right? It says, yeah, it's a d6. So you can only add up to six points. Okay. What rules are you looking at? Hey, this rule boy's over here trying to go through all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to look up one thing. Of course. Yo, in this universe, does the guy, you know, space glue, when we think of it, is, <laughs> does, the, does the flex seal guy is he here space glue (laughs) i have a little container of space glue in my backpack in case we ever need it Mm -hmm. okay made by the creators of flex seal listen i'm sorry two timers here all right so what i was looking up which i don't think there's a fucking rule in here for so i'm gonna invent it because i'm rule boy i'm gonna invent it (laughs) i'm gonna invent it uh because you guys did a stealth attack you guys should get double damage Oh yeah, for sure. Whoa. That, that, oh. that seems fair, That's right? That's a rule across the board. For on our first, the bow attacks. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. So you so guys all attacks from behind always do more. Maybe not double. They're not dead, but they're pretty okay. rough. Double. Off. Okay. So sorry, it's Iggy's turn. What do you? I doing? guess uh, shoot him with the bow again. Okay. Forgot it. <laughs> all that build up, all that waiting for nothing. Did you roll a one? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you drop your arrow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I just I was fumbling to get it in the bow, and it just fell. Henry's turn. All right. I'm going to run up to the guy I hit with the arrow, uh-huh. the right guy, right jackal, and uh, I'm gonna, I pull my great sword out of the sheath that's across my back, uh-huh. whoosh, and then I run up to him, and I'm going to attack him. Okay. <laughs> so I run up to him. I only rolled a 10, by the way. Okay. So I am, oh, I got to roll a five or a six. It's not rough. worth it. I'm not going to yeah. The way I'm rolling, I'm not going to roll high enough action point. So I run up to him and I go to swing at him and I just go, <laughs> whoosh. And I, I, he like kind of turns right as I'm swinging and I cut off the tip of the arrow that was in him. And okay. some hair. Yeah. <laughs> but I miss him. All right. It is now the box turtle's turn. What's uh, his name? Uh, Carson. Daly. Carson Daly. Carson Wentz. <laughs> Nice. Go. Oh, he should have been an eagle. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, he should have <laughs> given us some better birds. No, he's a turtle. Uh, the turtle runs up. The box turtle runs up with his spear. Does he run? He sl- <laughs> he waddles up. <laughs> Is he like Ninja Turtle style on hind legs, right? Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Is he as big as us? Well, he's taller than, than Fang for sure. I think sure so. Oh, yeah. Box turtles are pretty big. He is not Abraham sized. Okay. He is. He's probably more like... Iggy's height. Okay. All right. So he runs up with his, he walks gingerly up with his spear and attacks the one that uh, Henry just attacked. Oh, right. And, ooh, he crit. Nice. Well, why is it every time we roll people, they are way better than us? Oh, because we suck. With melee weapons, you, if you roll a 19, you can crit. Oh, okay. That's cool. What's that? Do Do you do full double damage? Yeah. It's like a critical hit. Okay. So 19 or 20 with, uh, without a mod, like like a straight 19 yeah. or 20. But he doesn't do great, though. He doesn't really hurt him that bad. But <sighs> He's trying. <laughs> yeah, he's trying. Uh, he's doing better than the rest of us. And then... Who are just whiffing. Uh, Aldous runs up to the one that Fang is, is attacking with a chainsaw. And it does not hit. Mm. And uh, the Robin goes and attacks that same one with her staff. What's the Robin's name? Matilde. And she hits... Duh. Just Matilde. Matilde. Can I call you Matilde? <laughs> You're asking that right now. <laughs> no, no, that's a, yeah, a Zoolander, right? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Matilde. I don't remember. Her name is Matilde. He's like, can I call you Matilde? And she's like, no. And he's like, okay, Matilde. <laughs> so Sick. she runs up and does like a cool, like spins her staff around and uh, smacks this guy. And uh, he looks very bad off. I have a question. Mm -hmm. I have the opportunist talent, which I can use one action point to attack opponent who has been hit by melee. Is that right now, like right after he's hit? For sure. Out of turn for me, right? Sure. I'll let you do it. All right. So I'll use an action point and I'm going to, right after she hits him, I'm kind of like still spinning around from the last guy. I'm just going to go attack that same dude. And I roll a natural 20. (laughs) 
Okay. So he's probably like near death. Finally. Yeah. Uh, on the guy that had two hit points left, you crit. <laughs> uh, he, he, you get him right between the eyes with this crossbow. Well, I was using my great sword. Oh. I had put my long bow. I was using my great swords. I feel like it wouldn't make sense for me to switch back that quickly. I feel like Legolas could do it. He could just finesse that. Okay. I don't like this dog here because I can't look at you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It's like it, real. It is him. Yeah, I feel like it doesn't make sense for you to just like run over quick. Yeah, that makes sense. It makes sense. more sense to shoot with a bow. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you do it. Shoot with the bow. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. You He's pull the dead. bow off your back and shoot this thing between the eyes. It's dead. The other one is still alive. It's Fang's turn. Okay, going with the chainsaw. And I <laughs> just look at him. <laughs> and I try to swing the chainsaw. And I completely miss. But I swung it so hard that I kind of do like a 360. And I get out of that. And I stumble away out of his 10-foot radius. Okay, or whatever. that's fine. That backstep or whatever. Yeah, you, know you, can, you can do the backstep. That's fine. I'm backstepping out of my very graceful miss. Okay. Because I miss. Yes, it is now the quail's turn. She's going to shoot at this dude. She does not hit. It is uh, the jackal's turn. He's still mad at you about the the chainsaw. I'm flexing like I always am. I'm always like, yeah, look at me. And I can never hit anybody. He did misses too. Sweet. Uh, it is uh, Iggy's turn again. Okay, I'm going to switch to the machete. Okay. Because I feel like knives are my forte. So I have a 16. You hit. The machete's at 1d6. Five. It's a okay. five. This guy is not looking great. Good job. Henry, it's your turn. Five. All right. I'm going to hit him with the great sword again. Go for it. As long as I'm switching back and forth. She's ah. Louise. I rolled a two, so... All right, it is the turtle's, turtle's turn. Turtle hits. Turtle, turtle. Turtle. The master of disguise. Yeah, this guy is looking really rough. I can't do the math, but he's looking rough. Not dead yet? Not dead yet. Uh, the Oh, wait, wrong die. Mole goes and swipes at this dude. He misses. Robin Jeez. shoots her arrow. She hits. Uh, this fucker is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Not so jacked now, are you? Yeah, uh, so... I'm going to take their playing cards. Okay. Nice. <laughs> uh, Good memento. So, in this room, it's just like a little cavern that has a light on, on above where they were sitting at this table. There's a bunch of overturned mining equipment and some lockers that say first aid. Okay. Ooh. And these guys are laying on the ground dead. They have big, big, big sharp claws. And no look, weapons on them, though. Look really jacked. They're wearing cargo shorts. How, how many, what's in the pockets? Yeah, how, 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 filled, many pockets? how filled are those pockets? The yeah. pockets are filled with the those grenades that Ooh. they threw at you before. Yeah, we're going to take them. I'm going to take do? some. They knocked out all, all the, the electronics, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm going to take some. Okay. How many do we get, like, between they, the they three had, of us? They had two each. Okay. So four. You can yeah. hold on to them all if you want. Yeah, that's there. cool. I'm fine with All right, I got them. You're like our Put them in my fanny pack person, kind of. All right, and... Uh, Besides that, there was just the lockers that say first aid on them. Did, any of, us, them. did any of us get hit besides me? No. No. They were just real pissed so at I you. So I run over, I run over to, that, to that first I run over to that first aid thing and I open it up. What do I see? Glad you asked. Ooh. Uh-oh. It's a trap. They're booby trap. It blows up. Oh, damn it. No. Uh, <laughs> there are uh, some rations. Okay. Just food. Yeah. Shitty food. Uh, a medi a medi comp sensor, which I can look up the rules for it, but no. it, it assists. What is it? It, assi- <laughs> 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 it assists. <laughs> it assists you on uh, medical checks. Okay, that's cool. There are heal it patches, ooh, which do two d six of healing like if inst- you apply instantly? them. Instantly, yes. They're heal it packard. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Dude, I bought a Dell. <laughs> How many of those are there? There are six of them. It's a box of six. Yeah, nice. use one real quick. Yeah, I slap them those bad boys on my... Um... Rolled 2d6. On your what, though? <laughs> oh, that. don't ask. <laughs> no, just... I, I, that guy, he thought he hit me really hard, but he just scraped my knee a little bit. Okay. He didn't do much damage to me. 
Oh, sorry, I didn't roll in the box. Four and a three. So actually, that's <laughs> that's exactly seven. Yeah, so good. I'm, I'm back to health. <laughs> Woo. Can I get a pencil? So you guys have beat these two guys. End of episode. Yeah, I'm loading up. I'm loading up. I'm loading up my pack with, with the rest. With the rest of these. Is it time these. to go? I yeah, know. I guess it's almost time to go. It Do does wanna... seem like a logical stopping point. Well, should we roll to see to see what happens next? Sure. What, what are we rolling next? for? Another D100. Okay. Did you hear? Did you hear that I I took the rest of the supplies on my backpack? Yeah. Good. These, you want to roll it on your these paper? Too. What am I writing down? Yeah. Got. It. Seventy-one. You're walking down, and there's a passage that leads the right you know you're walking aimlessly through this maze of mine you know mine shafts or whatever you want to call them. not shafts but tunnels to your right there's a path that leads off and it has a like a track in it with a not like a mine cart but the future version of a mine cart so a mine cart a hover mine cart yeah. <laughs> a mine cart not, that looks like tron it's a hover mine cart it's not yeah you find a you find a mine cart it has some fancy led buttons on it and it's like hovering like three inches above the tracks, like a maglev. No, it it is on the tracks. Oh, it's it on the tracks. So it's just a minecart <laughs> yeah. with uh-huh. LEDs. Yeah, it's like I someone like found an old minecart. Like I could upgrade <laughs> the lighting on this thing. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, so that's what you guys find. Sweet. Uh, Aldis goes. I I think uh I think that this this leads up to the f- to the front entrance. They they go up. Uh, well, not up, but. I I think I need to. L- l- look, look up yeah. more r- rules. <laughs> Damn it. Here we go. Put the timer on. This minecart leads uh, to the platform in the front where they would load spaceships. How dangerous is it? Oh, it's, I don't know. It seems to be working. He, like, kicks it and, like, <laughs> some stuff falls off of it. Oh. Can, can we even all fit in it? Like, looking at it? No, I don't think you guys could all fit in it. There's only one cart. Yeah, well, the bir- just the well think one. about it though. The birds don't have to fit. True. They can sit on our shoulders. And just fly behind you? Yeah, yeah or fly behind fly us. Or in theory, you guys could probably walk along the tracks. Oh, that does seem oh, yeah. less fun though. We could walk, I guess. Okay. I wanted to strap a chainsaw to the front of it. <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, hop in, I'll push you. Yeah, so I do it. You Just hop. like the shopping cart. Yeah. <laughs> the other episode. Yeah. I get in, and I put the chainsaw on the front of it, and I tie it together with some uh, space glue. I pull out the space glue, and I glue it to the front. Okay. I wrap it around with some and it's, and, and space gauze that I got out of the... It's just you in there? Just me. I'm, roll, I'm riding solo. As soon as... as, soon as uh, <laughs> I was going to hold on to the back and push him, though. As soon as you push this thing, it takes off at, like, extremely high rate of speed. So you have a split second to decide if you're hanging on or jumping off. I'm hanging on. Okay. Looks like we're, we're going. And, uh... Are they, like, running where, where, Yeah, where like, am I? Uh, Iggy, as this mine cart uh, careens away... I'm like, this is my chance. Uh, <laughs> See you, suckers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're, left, idiots. you're left on this little platform with the rest of these animals. Oh, great. The chainsaw that's mounted to the front. <laughs> don't, take, cart. don't take it away. I'll fucking, I will knock down your stupid trifold. <laughs> I'll tell you batteries don't work anymore. <laughs> no. Go on. It, cut, it cuts through a chain that's hanging down. There's a cluster of chains hanging down. Okay. Okay with that so far. It cuts through this chain like butter, like a Ooh. hot knife through butter. Okay, good. Like butter. It cuts it through <laughs> like butter. <laughs> uh, um, Iggy, you see that this chain, that the, the one chain gets cut and another one next to it starts falling at incredibly rapid speed. And all of a sudden you hear this loud crashing noise as some kind of counterweight falls from high above you in some shaft. And crashes down and knocks down. You the, watched Indiana Jones last night. <laughs> then, <laughs> and knocks down the cross beam that was uh, over this tunnel. So now there's a big there's a big gap. She can't get to us. No, there's it caved in and it's blocking it's blocking the passage for you to follow on the tracks. Damn that that messes up my plan. I was gonna tell her to pull out some soaps and start soap grinding on the rails. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
Did we ever? Did we ever um, see the king back at the? Is the king dead? I don't know. Uh. Who says there was ever a king? Yeah, I might snake that. Yeah, what kind of patriarchy <laughs> do you live in? This throne. Th- That's true. There was only one throne in the throne room. That's true. There might only be one throne. But Fang came to bone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, we need some pencils over here. Yeah. We only have but one. All right, pass it over. We'll go in a circle. Ooh. Yeah. You guys don't have any? Zero. No. no. This shit got lost. That- Didn't you used to have one? Yeah, there's this one. Yeah, then I get, you lost one, I gave you mine, and then you lost mine. What? <laughs> You're losing them left and right, I'm telling what, you. What is I'm my life? 